And I want us to keep doing that. I want to just segue from that. You've been um, interesting about some of, uh, well, the, the sort of Trump landscape we're heading to has a number of things which enter your wheelhouse, one of which Scientific America said, for example, about the appointment of RFK uh, Jr. Trump has promised he would allow Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to go wild on medicines, food and health. With that, a radical anti-establishment medical movement with roots in past centuries could threaten the achievements of a science-based public health order painstakingly built since World War II. Do, do you agree with their categorization of the way this could go? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a, a crystal ball of how actual politics unfolds. What I do know is that in the U.S. government, no matter what people say uh, at the top, what matters is how money gets allocated in the federal budget. And you can say, oh, I hate science, or science is this or that, but if the money goes to the proper, to the agencies, then the career scientists who work for those agencies will do their job. And by the way, leaders come and go. Heads of agencies, especially if they're presidential appointees, come and go. The scientists are there for their careers. And so in the end, uh, the scientists will do what scientists must do. And I have full confidence that we will not lose the mission statement of these very important scientific institutions. By the way, just a, a quick bit of history. 